I'm doing a little craft and chat again. In this one, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna chat about, but we are gonna figure it out. Here is what our supplies is. We have a canvas, white paint, this paint. It's not black, but it's not white. It's like, but it's not gray either. It's like weird. And then I have these paint pens. And then I have one singular paintbrush and a paint marker pen that's black. It's by Craft Smart. Pretty sure that's a good one. Um, I'll let you know what I'm making at the end of the video. I don't really know if I'm gonna share. Oh, I totally forgot. Hello, I'm Willow, if you're new. Welcome, if you're not new. But isn't that so fun? Glad to see you back. Um, I'm just starting by pouring, I'm really just pouring the paint on here. I don't think you can see me. Like, how do I make you be able to see me? Does that work? I'm in my Mickey socks. Um, I'm gonna do the slightest. I'm gonna start with a white base coat. Because I'm pretty sure that's what the painting gurus do. I wouldn't know I'm not one of them. By any means, now I feel like I'm too, like, close. Okay. I'm actually a really good painter. I'm very artistic in that sense. So maybe I could consider myself in the guru community. But I don't know if I'm that good. Okay, let's not... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm only gonna, okay, so the little twist to this is I'm only gonna be using half of the canvas because the other half is, well, I'll, I'll explain at the end. You're probably like, what the fuck is this girl doing? You'll see, okay? I promise. Um, I have work tomorrow. It's actually my first day at my new job. Just say it goes. I'm not gonna be saying where I work for confidentiality reasons, but I'm very excited. Lave's on a work trip right now, and I'm so sad and lonely. I think I'm going to redo my little pegboard. Is that what it's called, or is that wrong? Cork board? I'm going to put some nice aesthetic photos on it to really match my room, because right now it's, it's, it's not doing that. What should we talk about today? ever to dry say oh my god um you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the story of how i met lave and you're probably like who the hell is lave he's my boyfriend so we're gonna do that that's our story of the it's a little rinse dewy so i in the past relationships, there's always been like a talking stage. And this is what confused most of my friends. Because me and like, we didn't we didn't have a talking stage. I was kind of just like, met, now we're dating. Um, ooh, that's... Where the hell did all that paint come from? I just got my floor covered in paint. I did a little bit of a panic right now. <gasps> my mom. Pants? No. Okay. Maybe this will work. Oh, that worked wonderfully. Nail polish remover, people. That solves all of my problems. That was a lot of paint. But that's the color we're looking for. Okay, see? Sometimes you just gotta go big or go home. My laundry came in. Um, we're still crafting. Um, so basically, I used to be best friends with this girl named Cheryl. Is that the name I'm using? I guess so. And she had a really bad relationship. And then she got into a relationship with Billy. Okay. Then I became friends with Billy because she was my best friend. I had to make sure she wasn't dating some hooligan. You feel me? And then me and him became friends. 
Then rumors were spread about me and him by Cheryl after they broke up. Anywho, this isn't really relevant to the story. Anyway, this is just background. So me and Billy became friends because we were both being harassed. In a way. Anywho. But we've moved on. We've made amends with Cheryl. It's all in the past. But this is just background. She's a lovely girl. And I wish all great things to her and her family. I really do. Like, I really have nothing against her. It was just stupid high school drama. Anywho. Um, so then, one of the days, we were like, oh my god, we need to get the group together and have some friends. So I was looking for a girl for Billy, Bobby, and Liv, okay? And so, Bobby got a girl, Billy got a girl, and so Liv was still looking for a girl. <laughs> funny, funny joke here. Um... I wanted a short blonde. I'm a 5'9 brunette. So basically, I started snapping him on November 9th. And then, um, I started snapping him on November 9th. But here's the funny part. So, four months prior to this, he sent me a snap of him. And I was like, who is that man? And he was like, mm, taken. I was like, you mother respected it let it go not even four months six months before i met him six months like before i like really knew him totally forgot about him he like went out of my trans box i was like girlfriend no trans it's fine it's like he's probably like a bajillion years older than me anyway um so then november 9th and i didn't connect the dots when ba billy was i saying billy was it billy i think it was billy it wasn't bobby i don't think Oh god, now I'm confusing myself. Billy sent me a snap of Labe saying Labraham, okay? And I totally forgot about it and I didn't connect the dots to like three months into our relationship. But basically, I started talking about on November 9th and I made a joke because we're Jews. I'm a Jew. He's a Jew. So I made a Jew joke. And he was like, you know. And I was like, hold on. I'm a Jew too. And he was like, ah, it's okay. So then we really hit it off, actually. Like, And then two days later, I was like, let's hang out. This is literally what it was. I was like, pull up, you want. And he did. And this is right after my dogs got into a fight, which wasn't really good. So then I hung out with him and a couple other people. Me and him really hit it off. So basically, let me put this out. So basically, he, so Billy, Bobby, and Leib were, Leib, he didn't really care about the thing. But Billy and Bobby were looking for a girl. Billy and Bobby got a girl. And apparently there was another guy coming for me, but I didn't really like the guy, and I really just didn't want to go, so I told him not to go. And I was just going to be, like, sixth wheeling or whatever. But then I saw Leib, and I was like, I found him a girl. Oh my god, I was totally supposed to be crafting during this. Oh, the paint's dry, it's fine. So I was like, I found you a girl. Is me. And then I asked him to hang out. We hung out. It went really well. Three days later, we went on like an actual date. And really, ever since then, it's been that. But it was kind of funny because it was a whole series of events that led up to this moment. And what was actually funny was um, what's interesting. This stands right now. I can't. What's interesting is that at that time, and at that period of time, Lave just got out of a relationship. Like, not even a month. And I, in no way, shape, or form, was looking for a relationship. Like, this was strictly just like, I really, I, I was kind of like, I found you, you're girl. No, I like really wasn't looking for a relationship because those things are fucking ass cheeks. Like, you actually sometimes genuinely care, and then they turn out to be a dick. And it just, it doesn't work out. And you know what? I just didn't feel like dealing with that bullshit again. I was like, I'm not going to date again until like college. Because I'm the kind of person that like dates to marry. Like, I'm like, if I'm with you, I'm with you. And funny enough, that's how Leave is. At least that's with me. So if. His ex is watching this. I don't know why. I caught her stalking me once. But if for some reason she's watching this, like, oh my god, I wonder how they met. Because he did accuse 
him of cheating on her with me, but that's actually impossible because I didn't truly know his existence until November 9th and they broke up around October. Anyway, that's how he was with me at least. I don't know how he was in his past relationships. You know, we talk about him, but we don't really talk about it like that because it's not really... We're a lot different than we were in those relationships, but obviously we have talked anywho. Not that that's important or anything. Is this dry yet? I'm Mickey Sucks. I already said that. Now you can like really see them and it's kind of bothering me. Oh my god. This is Chromate Marker Mater Matek Chromatek paint marker my grandma gave them to me um <laughs> so due to a series of very unfortunate events we will not be using the white paint marker it says bye What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it mostly and then we're gonna come back because I've already been filming for quite a few minutes so that's what we're gonna do this is a fun little fun little craft and chat I don't know if a craft and chat's an actual thing but I'm deciding right now it is hello <laughs> I showered I cleaned up the box as you can see um can you see what it is yet do you have a hint of what it is? I've showered and I've slightly gotten ready. Like I've, like I've washed my face and stuff like that. Cause I think I'm gonna go to bed early and wake up super early. <gasps> what the fuck? And wake up super early. I don't know. That was just part of my plan. Cause I have work tomorrow. So I won't have as much time when I get home. And I also want to get this video uploaded, like, pronto. So, that means I have to give up sleep. Which I'm totally okay to do. Oh my god, my marker. My marker's not working. Okay, I think I'm going to call it quits. That's what we've got so far. Um, this is, oh, or should I do a colorful marker? I don't think I'm gonna do red. I'm super excited. Do you know what it is yet? Can you tell? Everything's clean. This is just my backpack. So yeah, I made myself a little plaque. This is gonna the bottom part's gonna be for my thousand. But it's just a little exciting. I don't know. I'm happy about it. I don't know. I've wanted to start a YouTube since before I could even remember, I think I talked about this in another video, but I literally grew up on this stuff and I always thought it was so cool and I like, I looked up to the people that are doing it. So even though I don't have a lot of subscribers, 100 is an accomplishment to me and I deserve a plaque. So I made myself one. This is my calendar, by the way. Right here, craft and chat, play button. So it was on the list because I made sure to make a, a priority that I did this not only like for a video for y'all but I deserved it so yeah I also have a few more crafts I have to do so we're gonna do a couple more crafts and chats but I'll figure out actually what to chat about this time I promise okay so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, you should definitely subscribe and check out my other videos because I make super fun and funky videos and I make like four of them a week and I have so many ideas so there's going to be just constant content, okay? That's what you want. That's what you need. This is what this... What is YouTube? This is what this app was made. Oh my god, I got paint on my floor again. Dang it. Um, can I just...
can someone tell me if nail polish remover is like super bad for um fake wood like the like fake wood sticker things let me know where was i gratitude i think i already did gratitude did i already do gratitude i'll do it again thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoy I already told you to subscribe and check out my videos because I make super fun and funky videos and that I have a lot of ideas and cons and content, all that good stuff. Oh my god, am I not centered? I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for the outro. And I really hope I see you in the next one. I can't force you to come. I can't force you to subscribe, but I can strongly recommend it. Strongly urge you. I don't have a vocabulary word that meant like strong, strongly urge, but I don't remember what it was. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm gonna redo my cork board. I totally forgot that I was gonna do that. Oh my god, did someone just text me? Okay, I gotta end this video. Um, I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully. Bye.